Hey guys, what's up? It's iTechnoon here, and today we're doing Hoax MC episode 4. So, last episode, I said if we hit enough likes, we would do Hoax MC episode 4, in which we will make an Iron Golem spawner. And uh, we hit those likes, we actually got more than those likes, so thank you very much for that. And now, we're going to create an Iron Golem spawner. So, with these chunk hoppers, they work by activating a chunk, and the chunk is a 16 times 16 area. So, if we do dash chunk, we can see the outlines that the chunk hopper will work in. So, let's buy some quartz to mark out our chunk area. Just chunk. In between these blocks is the end. So if we mine out here and do just chunk again, let's mine all the way up to here because this is our 16 by 16 area or our chunk. This is the very edge of it. You see the corner lines up here. So now what we're going to do is build out to the next one so we have our outline of the chunk so we know if we place a chunk hopper in the corner we can fit them all in right so that's our limit so if we mine these two build across and we're just going to quickly replace these blocks to make it look all nice and neat there we go so this is our chunk so if we place a chunk hopper anywhere in this area it will pick up items that are full as long as we select the correct item so first we're going to do a little test so if we go to this corner because if we placed our chunk hopper right on here all four of these chunks would line up so we could essentially have a chunk hopper in each one all going into the cell chest to maximize the efficiency of it so we're just going to test if we put our chunk hopper and our cell chest here so let's build a 4x4 four four. I mean, no. let's put a 4 block platform so if we put our hopper there there we go see how it's got that inventory what we want to do is go and place our iron golem spawner so we can place it anywhere in here so we're just going to buy some more blocks quickly actually let's see does it pick up that quartz block? Or do we have to activate it to do that? Wait. If we shift click. Chunk off of controls. There we go. Filter options. So. If we filter it. We can make it click up. All of that. Alright. So let's just quickly add. Cobblestone. Now if we throw that. Yeah, it works. All right. Let's go through one from this side. Or we'll move the cobblestone in a second. Yep, but see if we throw one from here. It doesn't pick it up. We just skip some boring bits in the middle. But if you do want to know how I built this middle bit, you build out four blocks on each side and connect them all up. So it looks like this. And then on these corner blocks, we're going to place a chiseled quartz to show where we put a spawner. You can do this cheaper way. You can literally just put a block with an iron golem spawner underneath it. But uh, we want it to look nice. So we're doing it like this. And now, just for a test, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy that. And we'll get our water bucket. Place it here so we can go underneath. If you have dash fly, you don't need to do this. And we're just going to place one. So 
so we can test to see if it works. Okay, now we've placed one. What we're going to do is place underneath it another quartz block. One, and we're going to place four down. And this will give the iron golem spawners a place to spawn. Actually, we'll go three down. On this server, they used to not be the stack spawners. So you can actually stack them like so, which meant uh, it was wasted and you had to build five down and do another one, but we still have to build down so they fall. We're just going to check they actually filter in here. So there was six iron golems in that. Do the items go in there? No. So let's grab ourselves an iron block, see if that works. First we need to remove the cobblestone. And then what we're going to do is shift click here, filter options, add filtered item, iron block. Now when they fall, we should hopefully get some in the chunk hopper. There we go. Those iron blocks were added to the chunk hopper. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place the exact same on all these corners instead of just having one stack because like I said, we do want to make it look nice. We're going to balance out where they go. What we did here is separate our iron golem spawners into equal amounts. So every spawner had 32. There we go. So if we go to this one. Shift click on there. So now that's 32. 32. 32. 32. There we go. Now they've all got 32 iron golem spawners on either one. So what we're going to do. You see we're already getting iron blocks. We're going to go in our inventory, grab our cell chest, place it on this one, this block here, and uh, we're going to have to grab these out before they all start filling up. Mine the chunk copper. See we've got five, of our, five in our inventory now, and attach it to there. And then I'm going to attach one. So because we destroyed the hopper, we have to reset the iron block. So if we go ores, iron block, confirm. Filter options, add filtered item. There we go. So now they should automatically sell the iron blocks. And yep, our balance is just going up. So that is how you make an iron golem spawner. The best thing to do would be to grab a robot so we're going to build back in here at the time of this recording i have a video of how to get a free robot on the server but it's currently glitched so i'm not sure if they will have fixed it when you watch this so check out the link above if you have a robot already or you're buying one you want to place it in the middle right here so that way you get the money offline and it activates all the spawners at the same time for maximum efficiency if you don't have a cell chest what you can do is create and get a chunk hopper and then attach it to just a load of chests on a filter system like a bigger version of that one over there and then you'll be able to collect all the iron and sell it when you come online but if you do have a sell chest you can automatically sell like this see we're already at 848,000. so guys i just bought a robot off the store so i can show you guys what to do when you have one how to set it up so please leave a like on this video because this actually cost me real life money. Plus I also bought that cell chest. Please consider subscribing if you're new because I do stuff like this all the time. And uh, I do other videos too so make sure you go check them out. Minecraft, Roblox, all sorts. If you guys request it, I'll do it. So if we do dash claim, see we have a, a basic robot. So if we do dash robot, see we've got this one here. So we want it to spawn. So we're going to spawn it right here there you go so if we go to mode we want the robot to to spawn activate so just set up like this you want one robot activating the spawners and you also want another robot that keeps the chunk loaded before we carry on with this video I just want to say this video cost me $40 alone so please make sure you like it and subscribe if you're new and it will really make it worthwhile thank you so now if we do dash clean, we get this one, 
And uh, so now if we go dash robot, we have this one. What we want to do is spawn it. And this one we want to make its mode and set it to chunk load. So now this is always this chunk is always going to be active and it's always going to be activating the spawners and always selling in the cell chest. So now what we want to do is we're going to name this one actually you know what top comment on this video is what we'll name them so put robot 1 and that will be the first one and robot 2 will be the second one. Also before you go on my plot I said that I would do a drop party at 100 subs and at the moment we're at 97 so uh, make sure you subscribe if you play HoaxMC Prison and uh, yeah come to the drop party I'll be doing it live so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications because that way you'll be able to see when I do my live drop party on here. In the next video we will set up a uh, blaze spawner so make sure you check out the next video and that's going to be it for this video please leave a like comment down below and subscribe make sure you check out the video youtube recommends for you i take no doubt i'll see you next time